What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Definitely Not Fried Chicken, regular cannabis production set to a really good pace right now. So we're cruising ourselves right along. Now I want to look into a bit more future upgrades here as well as prior collections. So let's the first thing let's do, let's upgrade. So let's head to the factory. I'm going to snag, I think I might just grab this one. No, I feel like we're getting too big up here and I'm taking a road I don't need right now. So what if we actually go this way? Yeah, I think I go this way. Um, hmm. Now let's, I'm going to start down here. I'm just going to buy this one. I may not use it for some time. This is a lot of land that I'm not necessarily going to need. So what I do want to do is maybe hold off. I might push all this stuff back here and then we'll figure some other growth opportunities out as well. Maybe even like making specific rooms for toasted canny and then some regular basic. But first, let's get a cleaner in here. <laughs> this place is disgusting and it'll probably help us out. So we're going to get a cleaner in here. He'll work on the factory first shift and he'll do all the rooms. So that's fine. He's got his work cut out for him, but he'll probably get himself up to date there. I'm wondering if there's anything that'll help him on his adventures here. Probably not. Maybe some move speed. I'll give him the 50% move speed. And weapon accuracy, food, HP. None of that's really useful. A chef hat, drug production, some HP. Slows fun reduction, slows energy and a hunger, but speeds up bladder. We'll give him a chicken hat. There you go. The cleaner has a chicken hat to work with. Get to work. How come he's not cleaning anything? Do I need to tell him to clean stuff? It doesn't seem to be the case. The cleaner, you're going to be brown. Are these floors just going to stay dirty? Like, will someone pick up this puke? Current value zero. Thank you for doing some freaking work, you piece of crap. All right. Now with that in mind, we're looking good. I'm going to get another worker here. And I want to try something. Workers, I'm going to hire you. And I'm going to set this guy to the factory. Where'd he go? hidden. There he is. Jesus. I'm going to set you to be white. And I'm going to make you a just a laborer. I just want him to pack trucks. I want to see how useful that is. So I'm going to turn that off on everyone else. I'm wondering if this will help production out greatly or if it's basically a moot point. So we'll see on that. So for this guy here, I'm going to go to his inventory and I'm going to give him a speed boost. Actually, I'm probably going to go give everybody a speed boost at this point. So that these guys can just kind of crank around this place. Full. Oh, can they only wear... Oh, they can only wear three items. Okay. Well, that's fine. So these guys still pack. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping that the packing could also be done by the guy shipping, but that doesn't seem to be the case. But I think I still want to keep him shipping. Maybe not. Oh man, I'm conflicted now. We'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep an eye on this. I'm not sure if I want him just shipping anymore. No, I probably don't. But before we get going, why don't we just take a look at some points we have here. We've got the university at 138 points. We can unlock Amazonian cannabis bed. So why don't we grab that and we can work on those next. I want to see prevents floors from becoming dirty. The floors are clean now, it seems. Fire resistance, toxic gas protection. Oh, for meth appliance. Okay, cool. Meth up here. Meth appliance using speed, fire resistance, prevents trap triggering. Oh, that's neat. We could literally set up traps all over the place and then just have them wearing sneaks. Okay. And um, night vision for weapon accuracy. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So the next thing we're probably going to be going down is the meth side, but I don't know if I want to get into that just yet. I might want to get more guns, honestly. 
And I do want to probably get into the large humidifiers, the air con units, dehumidifiers, the heater. What is this? Perfect for cooking moon meth? Moon meth? Automatically waters nearby. Oh, wait a sec. That could be super useful too. Okay, we're going to set everyone back up to the scrapyard. So let's go here. And I've just got, I've got my backup fronts. So my car research is just going to go to here. He was just about to drop off or pick up. I'm not sure which one he was about to do, but that's fine. Yeah, you know, I think I might keep him here just to stock up because it is being helpful. It's at least keeping my cars moving at a fast speed. So I guess what I really need to do is get another plot. I'm not too big of a fan on having my... On having my, um, what's my call it? Employee capacity capped based on how much land I buy. Because I like I'm buying land, but I don't need this land. It's so much land right now. Like I don't need this yet. That's fine. That is fine. Good, he's fixing stuff. I feel like I might not even need four plots for everything. I feel like that's also slowing us down from good production value. Like we're spending a lot of time watering, but I think when I get these, these sprinklers here, a medium sprinkler, I might even just wait for the large sprinkler. We'll kind of wait and find out on that. Yeah, we're loading up fast. I'm going to keep our, I'm going to keep this guy loading up vehicles here because this is useful to at least keeping our other guys focusing solely on plants. And we are managing stocks a lot better right now. Our laundry bin is actually looking pretty good. I'm actually going to plop a pallet down in here. Build, storeroom, give me this pallet. There we go. Just because it looks like we're getting a little cramped in there. But yeah, you can see this is what I was talking about where we had just lines of people in here. And it looks like it's happening like super early in the morning. It looks like drug fronts. We got a lot of early morning people in here. Let me check my scheduling. I might set ourselves up employees, schedule, fronts first. So like I have the next person coming in at nine. It's 930 actually. So maybe I have them come in at eight and then they can, maybe I just set them up. I'll still keep this, but I think what I want to do is just alternate the break pattern. Because business here, they start here at at six. So if they come in at nine, this should be fine, honestly. Customers are still getting served. I'm just curious at, as to where my other employee is. Like it's nine o'clock. Oh, there she is. Why is she not serving the people? Can't click her. Employees, people. They're both supposed to be working the front. Interesting. To say the least. There you go. Thank you for doing your damn job, lady. We need to sell drugs here. 365 for our three-star cannies. That's amazing. I'm not sure if in the long run it's worth it for us to be selling all types of drugs or if we just like slowly eradicate some stuff out of our businesses because we only have limited amount of employees which stinks okay we've unlocked the small sprinkler let's see what this will do for us here so let me go to build probably the grow let's go to aoe emitters so i feel like i need this in the middle somewhere, right? So like, I need to do this. So if I go like this, I probably need two, we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's hitting, unless I do it like this, right? So 
So what if I... Okay, we can make a square out of this, I think. Stand by. Just making ideas here. So if I go like this, like this, I don't know if this is the best idea, but it might be okay. Where'd the other one go? Did I get rid of it by mistake? Probably. I don't think I did, but I'm not sure where it went. Those are green. No, that kind of reminds me here. I don't think this works though, right? No, because it's still only two star. I'm actually going to have to figure something out if I want these to auto water. But this is the test here, so... Oh, and actually, these are already still at three star. I'm going to just move that there. So these are auto watering. Does that do anything though? Yeah, like it's growing. Yeah, it's doing its own thing there. Oh my word, can I like maybe change them to one person? Because now they're not watering these crops, right? They're just going to go and pick them up. Looks like they're like doing a final water and then putting them away. Well, uh, hold on guys. This is only supposed to be for the can for the toasties. Not sure what happened there. Probably when I picked it up and put it down. Is that the same here? Nope, that's still fine. Yeah, can you like go take these away? Oh my god, this is massive. I need to figure out how to make this better now. Production has looked like we're doing a lot better. So I thought this out a smidge and found a better way to slowly start to automate our cannabis and toasty production so i've actually changed all of our employees i still feel like this game is super loud and i don't you know we're at like 30 percent volumes here it's crazy still want some of that background noise but you can see here we've got like everything like really topped up i've got everybody working on everything now they're all working on toasties they're all working on cannabis I'm trying to see if there's a better method for it at the moment. And I got one guy packing still. But now that we're watering everything automatically, we're kind of cruising through this better. So just to kind of show what we got here, I did a large heater, another large heater, and then a medium heater in there. And now all three of those heat this entire area. As you can see in the temperature, and it hits these up here so that everything is at a perfect three star. Now, if we take a look at the lighting here, you can see I've got a light right here and right here, just above each heater. And that's also providing enough light. And then the same thing down here, we've got one in the center and then a light up directly above that. And it's just kind of feeding in. So we can see that lighting is actually really good here. And actually it's a little higher than necessary, it looks like. So we can actually tone this down a smidge. Wait for it, right there. All right, now that's optimized. So I'm saving some pennies there. And then I've got my air dryers. These are just set for specifically cannabis and the shredder. I may need to turn those into like two more shredders. I'm not really sure what I want to do there, but let's see, everything's pretty much automated. We're looking really good so far. I do want to get rid of this. There we go. And then once I can empty out that shelf, I'll get rid of that too. So I'll actually just put a pallet down real fast and then I'll just set this up for canny or toasties. And then I'm going to set this shelf for nothing. So that way they don't put anything more on it. And this is looking pretty good right now. So I'm thinking what I want to start looking towards is the boxing stations. And I'm thinking the auto boxing station. So I want to get local business up to 82 points. But I think for that, we should start working on our next cannabis production. So why don't we take a peek at that? 
so here i also wish i could separate these rooms so that way like heat doesn't carry over because i might actually need to move all of this over here because this stuff let me throw one of these down oh it needs a heat and a water humidity okay so actually this will work here so i'm thinking so it's humidity i'm assuming water doesn't count like from a sprinkler right let me see bro i'm gonna want it anyways so let me just throw this down i just want to see nope does not count which is okay so this is the play uh move so i'm probably gonna need to set something up like this here so if i do like one something something so if i do this i've got plenty of cash here so we can experiment as well let me go double sprinkler i'm gonna need the humidifier small humidifier i need the large humidifier actually to make sure i can do this appropriately i think aoe emitters cools the surroundings which i'm not looking to do i'm increasing moisture right moisture percentage yes give me that let's go whoops back here aoe emitters and the large humidifier 75 so if i do this in this Let me turn on that humidifier view, air pressure, humidity. Oh, wow. It's actually super high right now. Do I need this? I do, but not a, not to such a large degree. So I might actually be able to like crank these down a bit. What does it need to be at 90? So let me turn you to 25, turn you. Okay, so maybe we do like 45 a piece. No, probably 50 minimum will be good. Nope, that's not gonna be quite enough. We'll go up to 60. That's probably good there. So with that, yeah, that looks really good. Let's get back to the grow room. We'll put, oops, this one. And that there so oh we need heat in it too damn actually what if I put a heater in the middle then because the humidity is good uh, medium large heater it's so weird how these are like sparsed out you know okay now oh dang these are oh we need light we need light. So if I just plop one of these down here. Why is it? Oh, it has to be between 50 and 70. Okay, so let's, whoopsies. Thirty is the magic number, perhaps? Oh my god, that's way down there. Um, probably maybe if I Okay, I can't see that one. Let me, there we go. Well, let me turn you there. There's probably a good amount of light coming from here too. Oh no, this one had to be at 60. Okay, so what if I do this instead? Let's move this light and let me hit our light is here. So we need to be between 50 and 70. We're at 39 here. I think that's actually perfect. Nope, this one's a little high still. Okay, so let's turn down this light perhaps. Oh, you know, I probably can't make that one go down any further. So what if I just move this light over here? 
Yep, that actually will probably cut it. The light value here is at actually 90 now. Wow. It's because of this light? It is because of this light. What if I move you guys like over here a bit? Oh, that's not even close to hitting this one. Oh yeah, this one's like super off. Yeah, because this is at a perfect 50 where that's sitting. How is that all the way up to 90 with that light though? Yeah, I guess so. Is there a light I'm missing here? That just seems super, like a really high spot. Like, why is that 90? Forty. Oh, because it's at 30 there. Twenty-four. Where is that light coming from? Is it coming from over there, maybe? Might have to do like two really low lights. Like do one here. Like this. And crank this up by an, a little bit. Now that's just a bit too high. This is rough. This is a rough one. Now that's too high by 10. I can probably lower this a bit though. Yep, there we go. There's the magic spot. Okay. This is why I kind of like this AOE nonsense is bad here. I mean, I can make another grow room elsewhere, but like I can't separate them. You know what I mean? I would love to just be able to put a wall in here and not have light pushing across this place like some extremely annoying prefacing space. So, but with that, we're actually looking really good here. I've even got a third set of Amazonas cannabis up here. So we've got more material. So what I am actually going to do is set you up to deliver... this now turn that one off turn all these off for a moment and then my research is going to send out the amazonas so we'll start selling the brown stuff too and i do need to get some extra stuff in here so actually i can build this way so let's hit that build button let's make sure we're building a grow room here and let's go the air drying. So I just want to see, turn these off. So humidity and heat are not the greatest here. However, we're kind of, we're, I feel like we're really pushing our luck on this, right? If I move this even, like I'm not going to be able to crank this up, I don't think. Like, yeah, I still need 20 heat. So what if I just create a little space here? Just kind of bring us back a bit. You know, what if I bring all of this back? All right, a little bit of genius has peeked into me because I realized there is another building called Corridor. So what I did was I ended up breaking this up a smidge, creating a corridor here and moving our guys this way. So now this is part of the grow room and it's separate so I can automate the heat the lighting and the air humidity in here a lot more easily than when I was in here because I had all this extra noise. So if like you see in here, like over here, heat is extending to like 10, 20, 50, 80, et cetera. It's extending out. Same thing with the light pollution. However, it doesn't transmit between rooms. So you can see this is still unaffected. Same thing with that storeroom, et cetera. So super handy there. So I just made its own little room. I am going to do one quick edit on the employees here for the rooms. I'm going to do package growth. I'm going to modify this. Oh, it actually kept that the same. Pretty cool. So and I'm also going to add this in here too. So I'm going to save the changes. We'll probably break these rooms down a bit more in the future. But I wanted to show you this all before we ended this episode here. I hope you liked what you saw. Hit that like button down below. But you can see here, this is all going to be much more automated now and super handy. I just need to update our 
employees one more time, actually, people, so that they do all work on this. And actually, I'm going to set up one. Lillian is going to solely work in this room by herself. So I'm going to see how well it does with just one person there compared to uh, three people on all this. If not, I'll probably just segment them all in, but I think that'll work better so she'll stay in one room. Made a mistake here, forgot to make this only for that. Probably the same thing here. There we go. So that way we're only using the rooms we want to be. I did add an extra grinder in here as well. I wish I could, like I said, I wish we could micromanage just a bit more like, hey, I want people to be like getting this shit out of the grinder and packaging. Like, give me a packager. But I did build a little storeroom here, which we will turn into a storeroom specifically for the Amazonian here. And then these two will still kind of work out of this in tandem. So we're going to be absolutely crushing it here in just a little bit. So stand by for that. But until next time, brothers and sisters, if you want to see more, double check to make sure you're subscribed. And until that next episode, stay shabby.